today we'll be learning how to make a liquid culture jars. These are for cultivating the mycelium of the mushroom. These are basically an equivalent to petri work dish with agar if you've used that. And the advantages of using this is that it has much lower risk of contamination because you just um, use the self healing injector port to put your liquid culture or spore syringes into so it has um, much fewer points of contact you don't have to open the jars so there's much less airflow um, you can still do them in still air boxes or in front of them are um, flow hoods but if you don't have those things and you're doing mushroom work this is a much better way to do that um, than with like uh, petri dishes the disadvantages is or that you don't really know if your liquid culture is contaminated. So you should have agar jars, which we'll um, show you how to make in another video to test. And we'll, we'll explain that in that video. Um, and you should test before maybe transferring to grain smon just to make sure because there is still a risk of contamination. But it's really easy to make and then you can use these to um, put mycelium from a petri dish if you have um, a cultivated petri dish or fr directly from a mushroom, a biopsy, or from other spore syringes or liquid culture syringes. So these are a really great thing to have while cultivating mushrooms, so we'll show you how to make them. So what you'll need is dextrose and barley malt extract. The ratio for these are four parts dextrose to one part barley malt extract. You'll need 20 grams per 500 milliliters. So the, the quantity that you're making really depends on the quantity of, of jars you're making. And we recommend um, mixing those two together and forming one powder and then measuring out 20 grams and putting them in each jar. You'll need a scale to measure that. This is about $10 on Amazon. So for the dextrose, this is about two pounds uh, for $10, and it equals about 17 cents a jar. And the barley malt extract is about $11 a pound, which equals about six and a half cents a jar. So we're listing the price of Amazon, but we bought these at our local brew shop, and we really recommend just looking around in your area if there is a brew shop because the prices I just listed were based on Amazon prices, not the prices we paid. The prices we paid were about half of what I just said. So even less expensive. And it's always nice to shop local. Um, you'll also need the mason jars. These are 500 milliliters to make the liquid culture in. And you'll need a magnetic stir bar. So these are about uh, $12.00. $24 for a pack of 12, so about $2 each. You can always reuse them. The magnetic stir bars are about $11 for a pack of 10, and these serve the purpose of um, stirring up the mycelium and the liquid to break up the mycelium and make sure that it's constantly growing and to, to provide oxygen to mycelium. And if you use those, you'll need a magnetic stirrer. This is about uh, $33. If you don't want to invest in those things, you can also just use a piece of like a marble, like a glass marble or another inert object. We don't recommend using um, like my, um, metal things that could cause some reactions with the mycelium and in general, mycelium and, and metal don't get along that well, but something like glass will do, but the magnetic, magnetic stir bars just make it a little bit easier. Um, you also need something to measure liquid in um, for the 500 milliliters of water you'll need for each glass. Um, and a pressure cooker. This is a Presto. It's $111 on Amazon and it's one of the bigger capital expenses for like the total um, mushroom growing operation. This is probably the uh, the biggest single object you'll need, but it's definitely worth it because you can also can food and do a lot of other things with it. It fits 10 quart size jars, so probably about double the amount of 500 milliliters. And after 
these are made, you'll put the inoculation lids that we made in our last video, and then everything is done. So that's all you need for making liquid culture dress. So we have a bigger container here. This is um, this used to store noodles, but you can use whatever container you have. And we have two pounds of dextrose and a half a pound of barley malt extract. And you're just gonna shake it and make sure it's really homogenous. <laughs> um, yeah, still need some shaking. And this is what you're going to measure 20 grams to each straw. So the proportion that I've been saying is 500 milliliters to 20 grams, but since we're using just 500 milliliters, which measures up to the top of these jars, um, we're just going to put 300 milliliters of water so that the mycelium has enough oxygen. Um, so we measure with the same ratio 12 grams for per 300 liters so we're just gonna turn our scale on tear it and put 12 grams And then our 300 gram, uh, milliliters of water. I put the dry before the liquid. And then you wanna put your jars, your lids on. And then we just use our liquid stir to mix it up a little bit. And then you do that with all of your jars and you're good. So once you have all of your jars, you will put aluminum foil over the top of them so that water doesn't get into the syringe filter. And you'll place them into your pressure cooker. So if you've never used a pressure cooker before, many of them will come with this tray at the bottom and that's to elevate the jars and whatever you're canning or pressure cooking to make sure that the heat doesn't directly touch the jars. And so you put all of them in. You'll, you'll also need to put about an inch of water. You wanna make sure if you haven't pressure cooked before that it doesn't come up above the lids of the jars because if you put about an, an inch, the, the water will rise as you continue to put in jars. And since we're doing uh, liquid culture with the syringe filter, we don't wanna get the water into the filter, so we're gonna put all of them upright. And then once you have all of those, you'll put the lid on top. You'll close it like so. So this will cook for 45 minutes at 15 PSI. Right now it's at zero PSI, so it's not 45 minutes from when you started, but it's 45 minutes from when this goes to the 15. When it goes to the 15, this will start turning and you'll monitor, monitor it and know when it's hit 15 PSI and then start a timer until 45 minutes and then you'll turn off the heat. You don't want to open it once you turn off the heat because there will be a lot of pressure and heat and so just wait until it cools. Maybe it will be an hour, but just be safe more than an hour. Um, just don't open it until it's gone back to zero and you know it's cool enough to open. Um, so we'll just wait. So we have waited, uh, today's the next day and see it's down to zero. It's definitely cold enough. We can open and have our jars. You can see that they've changed colors. This is just the sugar caramelizing. It's okay. It's, um, it won't impact the growth of my mycelium um but once you have these then you can start doing your mushroom work with the pour and liquid culture syringes and we might show you how to do that in other videos <laughs>